This video is about six programs. They are made for Power Basic compilers. So if you have a Power Basic compiler, I have made six utility programs. Let me go through them real quick. File to BAS, convert files to basic code, that's what it does. Converts text in visual files to um, character codes or assembly language and you can compile these and they recreate the file. Um, manifest Creator creates a file so your buttons uh, show up uh, with the style of window or whatever style theme you have. Rebuild. It takes your compiler uh, power basic programs and puts them in a convenient user interface to uh, compress, re, uh, repackage your uh, programs. Like if you have to update documents, this will zip everything up and do all the necessary tasks to um, get the job done in, in really short time, one after the other. Then we have resource. Basically, it just takes your RC file and converts it to a res and then converts it to a PBR all in one shot. And the next one is no console. It This is a console program itself. And if you have one uh, of any kind, um, Borland, C++, you name it, um, the list is right here. You can change these console programs with this program so these this window does not show up. It does its work in the background with without this uh, frame or this program uh, being visible. The only bad thing is if you have to click out of it or interact with it in any way, it'll probably just hang because you won't have any interface to change it. That's what no console does. And for the last program, and for my favorite and my best so far, besides file to BAS, the first one, um, this one I just came up with, it modifies your source code or string constants, anything in quotes, or most everything in quotes. Uh, it changes, so it still works like normal, but when you compile your PowerBasic uh, source code, when you look inside with a hex editor, like an exe, your exe with a hex editor, or a program to search for words, it will not show these words or recognizable words. The one problem with most people getting um, UPX to compress is to hide their stuff so no one can uh, alter it. Well, this is what this program does, but without the need for an EXE compressor. It basically changes the source code in such a way that if someone goes looking into your PE file or your EXE file and tries to find out any words or passwords or what have you, they won't be able to find it because it would be too tedious for them to, um, in the way this compiles, it would be too tedious. It would take a lot of effort and probably too much effort for the average person to, uh, to find out and then to alter uh, your um, programs. So this is, a, this is an alternative to UPX. It's uh, a console program. And that's an overview of all my six free uh, PowerBasic uh, programs just for PowerBasic. Uh, so I'll leave it there. Um, you can find these programs in the on my webpage, first of all, in the uh, About section at the end, About Author, uh, and then go to Programming. And this is where you can find these programs. So go to my website, uh, gammaphase.net.